what are the factors that go into the cost of an interior painting job? The first factor that comes up would be in what size your rooms are. If it's a two story or a one story, depending on the size of the area, it depends on how much we charge by the square foot. Another factor is if you're changing the color dramatically, would be if it was a color change due to smoke, water, or fire damage. Those factors could come in. Also, the smoke would be kind of like if you had candle soot. Those have to have a primer coat first before you can paint. The first story, there's a certain price per square foot. And then the second, if it's a two story and it has vaulted ceilings or oversized rooms, then that is another factor in the cost of painting. Condition of the wall is another factor. If you have interior stress crack or holes in the wall, those are a factor also. Those have to be prepared and fixed before you can paint. And those all depend on the size and if it's an actual hole or just a crack. The type of paint also is another factor. If you're changing a sheen or you're changing a color, those factors come in in regards to how much it costs to cover. If you are doing accent walls, that's another cost factor. That's if you're putting a dark pigmented paint on top of a light colored paint. If it's like a red or a dark green, you do have to put a type of gray primer on there so it does not stripe on your paint. And vice versa, when you're going back from reds to a lighter color, you have to put a primer coat on those dark pigmented paints so it will cover with one to two coats instead of taking several coats of paint. Another factor is the furniture. Our company policy is that we will not move furniture because of uh, the general liability of if we break something, then we have to pay for it. When you move the furniture away from the wall, at least three feet so we can get around the walls. If there is a clause that we can get with you and sign off on it, we will help you move furniture from if you're elderly or disabled or you can't move the stuff, we'll make a factor in to help you move it. But most your breakables as far as glassware, your valuables, electronics, all that stuff, pictures, mirrors need to be removed off of the walls. Another, another one is on homes also, people are asking if it's occupied or vacant, does it cost different? There's not really a difference the price it's just the difference in having to move around the furniture and have to cover the furniture we don't really charge anything different we still have to cover all the flooring all the personal items and stuff like that so there's not real cost in if it's occupied or vacant the only difference is is an occupied home most people don't want us to paint the interior part of their closet they don't want to remove their clothing so on a vacant home usually we paint everything that's inside the closet everywhere and in in the interior part of the house the garage is not part of that square footage a garage is something extra on top of a interior paint job it's not counted under the air conditioning space so usually those that's factor is the garage if you want the garage painted that would be something that would be an extra on top of the interior paint cost by square footage call performance painting today